is no one ready. Here. It's a tough call. They're so different. Mm. <laughs> Something funny? No. No, 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 nothing's, you know, it's just the both those belts look exactly the same to me, you know, I'm still learning about this stuff and uh <laughs> this stuff oh okay i see you think this has nothing to do with you you go to your closet and you select i don't know that lumpy blue sweater for instance because you're trying to tell the world that you take yourself too seriously to care about what you put on your back but what you don't know is that that sweater is not just blue it's not Turquoise, it's not lapis, it's actually cerulean. And you're also blithely unaware of the fact that in 2002, Oscar de la Renta did a collection of cerulean gowns. And then I think it was Yves Saint Laurent, wasn't it, who showed cerulean military jackets? I think we need a jacket here. Mm. And then cerulean quickly showed up in the collections of eight different designers. And then it uh, filtered down through the department stores and then trickled on down into some tragic casual corner where you no doubt fished it out of some clearance bin. However, that blue represents millions of dollars and countless jobs. And it's sort of comical how you think that you've made a choice that exempts you from the fashion industry when in fact you're wearing a sweater that was selected for you by the people in this room from a pile of stuff. <laughs> 